Hello, hello. So I need you to place a lever and activate the top trapdoor. I can activate the inside one. You need to do the outside. I'm free! Hello everyone, my name is Boom Muppet and welcome back to another episode of Breaking Minecraft. I have broken out of quarantine, thank you for Royal Jelly for the help with that. But if you remember a while ago, we built this. This right here is our gunpowder farm and it's been working really well, we have a lot of gunpowder from it. However, paper is a bit of an issue, we have been working with this sugarcane farm here and well it's not really gonna cut it it's really really slow so I would like to get us set up with a proper one that uh well it I don't really want to get us set up with a zero tick one because I find that would be a little bit cheaty so what we're gonna do is we are going to get started on the city okay and in this city we are going to build a massive sugarcane farm but First things first, we got to do something with this area. See, I would like to get us sorted out with a uh, small space to build this sugar, or well, a big space to build this sugarcane farm. I don't know why I said small, this thing's absolutely huge. I'm not sure whether to get started and build a skyscraper or just do it on the ground or underground even I don't know because if you don't know if you can't remember this area is going to be a city I just haven't really worked it out completely yet I'm gonna have some kind of massive car park here I think where I've dug out that area for terracotta and I'm just gonna do multiple layers so it's gonna be like an underground car park that you get I don't know We'll, we'll see how that turns out, but um, apart from that, I haven't really done much planning. I'd like a main skyscraper that's going to be like my uh, storage system and center point, and um, all of the other skyscrapers are going to have farms and redstone contraptions in them, and all the farms will have water streams that take all the items underground and lead them up into the main skyscraper. Uh, main skyscraper uh, in the center of our base, but. I still, I'm not really sure um, how this is all going to turn out, so I think I need to do a little bit of designing and I'll be back once I have done that. So I designed two skyscrapers, so this one is probably going to be the main one as it's bigger, and then this one is a uh, little side one that will have a farm in it of some kind, maybe sugarcane, I don't know. I guess we will see, but I think I might do the sugarcane one underground in like a sewer system, I'm not sure, it just sounds like a fun idea. Anyway, yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to get started on first, I think I'm going to go with the main one, because, well, that makes sense, seeing as that means I can move all my stuff into uh, this one first, and I kind of, right, so with this one, the reason why I'm hesitating on which one's going to be the main one is because this one has an S on it and I think that looks really cool because it's like Spoon Muppet but I I didn't know where to incorporate it on this one so maybe actually if I try making this one bigger and then just having this one be a bit taller so it looks more like the uh, main one and then I can incorporate the S onto it as well because I really do like this design Although one thing is, I think I'm gonna make the uh, this tower bit here bigger, or this um, bit at the bottom smaller, just because I don't like it poking out that much. I think that's a little bit too far, and it makes it look just a bit wonky, to be honest. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna move that in a little bit, uh, so it looks a little bit nicer. But yeah, I think those are the uh, two skyscrapers I'm gonna design for now they both have the uh same idea that they're kind of like a quarter of a square base pyramid kind of thing so they both uh go up in the same kind of shape if you get what i mean there but um 
yeah, I'll see what I can do. I do like both of these designs. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, one thing that I wasn't sure about with this one is whether this looks better or maybe this looks better. I don't know, but I guess uh, I'll leave it up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments what do you think looks better. So yeah, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work on designing this tower in survival first. I'm going to make a few iterations to the base there and make it a little bit taller so it stands out a bit more in the city and then this will be my main tower where my storage system is and where uh, I am for most of the time and all of the farms will lead into this tower in the centre. So let's gather some concrete. But I decided against manually collecting concrete, especially seeing as there is a brand new farm that I've designed that can farm it insanely quickly. So let's build that. So, I just died. I lost everything, I was AFK, doesn't seem fair, but it's alright, I've got tons and tons of diamonds, and a writerish has just let me know that I can take a set of wings from their base, so that I don't have to go out and get another set, which is absolutely amazing of them, thank you very, very much. So, I'm just buying an absolute ton of books from Tui's shop. Ta-da, I am back in netherite once again, and yep, this is significantly better. So, let me show you the progress on the skyscraper. Behold, so, as you can see, there are still a few things that I need to improve about it, but it is coming along very, very nicely. As you can see, I went for the one with the uh, S on the front here, so it looks pretty cool, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it stands out a bit more because this is uh, it's pretty small and disappointing to be honest. But yeah, I've done two windows completely, nearly three, and then I've just got this one to go and then that is the exterior pretty much done. And then I need to get to work on some kind of 3x3 hipster door to go here, so I'll work on that one. And then, yeah, I need to do the interior, so that means putting all the floors in, and storage system, and water streams, and all of that all needs to go in place into this skyscraper here. And then, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to build up a few more around here. I, I don't even know how many, but a lot. And, um, yeah, we should have farms in all of them that all lead into this central one uh, through water streams. So the like items flowing overhead, it'll look really cool in my eyes anyway. And um, yeah, hopefully that all turns out as expected. But what should we do next? Because I'm a little bit bored of building skyscrapers. How about we finally restock the rocket shop? 
and with that the rocket shop is completely stopped so go let all the other breaking minecraft members know that the shop is back in business i'm sorry that it hasn't been stopped for so long but we are back again now also i would like to start selling tnt but i think we're going to need to make a few upgrades to the shop so why not do that now and behold our rocket now has a little tiny rocket next to it it's quite cute anyway if we fly down here and into the rocket shop again as you can see this is all the same but we have this new section here where if you open this i am now selling tnt at the price of one diamond for 16 which i think is pretty reasonable but i don't know you let me know in the comments one more thing i would like to say before i end the video is that well, yeah, we hit a thousand subscribers, but I didn't really do a special for it. I just had no ideas, really, for anything that good. I mean, I had one or two, but they weren't... They didn't quite do the milestone justice, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see something particularly special, and I can try and make it for you. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry there hasn't been an episode for a while. I've been very busy, but, yeah, I'm back now. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.